Okay. This is Merrin. She fell in love with James. James. I'm a masculine presenting woman. And I am a feminine presenting Ooh, strip man. Let's go. I guess people perceive us. Okay, first of all, how is volume already? <laughs> Y'all, how do we feel about it already? I want strong ass opinions today. So I'm already loving it. Obviously, it's very rare, rare for me to meet couples who have this vibe. Most of the couples I meet are similar gay or straight, and I'm actually all for it. I like couples to match in energy, but I do like... I. I have met men like this. You actually know, do you know who's married to what I call a straight gay man? Is Michaela Peterson, Jordan Peterson's new um, new person. Wait, is the audio two times louder and I'm good? Wait, Brittany, two's louder? What the fuck? Wait, was the audio crazy? No, no, the audio is good. Volume's a vibe. Okay, so um, Michaela Peterson's husband feels very gay to me and I'm like, oh, I'm judging. So I sent it to my mother and I was like, am I judging? And she goes, mm, okay, I get it. Like I get the vibe now Michaela Peterson's husband is not like this man but I've met men like this who are straight and they want to do it but they don't it's hard to have the relationship with themselves but this man would read gay as hell if I met him so like okay my gaydar is apparently not that good that's as weird as a couple because we don't follow the right do we think this is a couple who's making it up to get on the internet? Because I was approached when I did BDSM. What's that channel, guys? Barcroft? Barcroft? That channel, Barcroft, is always interviewing couples. And they hit me up multiple times throughout my life. Like, hey, do you want to come talk about BDSM? Hey, we want to interview you and your partner, blah, blah, blah. And I was always like, no, not happening. Because I know Barcroft. They make it sensational and it's fake. Do you think this is fake or real? And then the second question I have is, Obviously, aesthetically, it's a little jarring, but it kind of makes sense. And I will say it is different than the couples I've seen. Like, you know those heterosexual couples I see um, where the guy's like kind of like overweight and he's more masculine, maybe like a construction guy, but then she's kind of like really made up and stuff. Even they match in terms of aesthetic. Like what I'm going to look for in this video already is does she match him in terms of fashion, in terms of does she care about how she looks? Because mask or not, like – you usually have a nice fit, you feel, if your partner has a nice fit. Is it a couple where someone cares about their fits and somebody doesn't? You know what I've noticed is hot girls with good fits who marry guys with bad fashion make the guys dress better. Like girls really do upgrade their man's wardrobe and I'm not even gonna pretend like I'm not already making plans for my man. Like I'm not even gonna pretend like I didn't end up with the cutest gamer person in the whole world. Like he's my favorite person in the whole world. But he, like he got that stereotype of worrying less about his fits though when he came to see me he actually cleaned up way better than i thought he would i hope he's not watching this right now <laughs> but like yeah, i'm like putting him on blast but like and i am a little baked but he actually looked really good he brought clothes that i was like okay he put himself together and i was really happy about that um but not to be such a girl they're definitely i'm like can we match outfits when we do things but not too bad not too bad not too bad not too bad like not crazy matchy but like you know something um, so that's what I'm looking for. And then I'm trying to keep an open mind when couples don't match. If I feel like it's fake, I'm trying to really treat them like they, um, that they're not fake. Okay. Okay. Ready? Let's try this. Regular status quo. And we don't look like <clears throat> how they want us to look. The couple met through TikTok. <clears throat> and despite not being each other's usual oh, type. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I was identified. Each other's usual type. I was identifying no, no, no. as gay because it looked like how they want us to look. The couple met through TikTok and They actually look, okay, <clears throat> first of all, holy shit, these are hot. They are like, um, ooh, Cheetos don't usually bother me. Mm. Okay, here's the only thing I'll say. This middle picture, can you guys see my cruiser? <clears throat> this middle photo. They look like they're 15 because of the filters, but they don't look that far off from each other, but the filter is making them match. But they see how they actually kind of are cute together here, but then they look like friends here. Ooh, is it like a friend thing that turned into love? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Despite not being each other's usual type. Hold on. I was identifying <laughs> as gay because it was easier than explaining all the ins and outs of who I was. I've only dated girls in the past. 
The most frequent question we get is, who is the woman? Or like, who is the girl? <laughs> who is the... Damn. Wait, this is... I know these people. Not, I don't know these people, but I know this story. Because it is easier for a bisexual guy who's that gay just to be gay. And it is easier for a, a bisexual girl who's that bush to just be a lesbian. Cursor, cruiser, stop it. Ingrid, do not, I come from an immigrant household. Ingrid, this is racism. This is racism. Is it cursor? It is cursor. But I say cruiser. I swear that's what we say growing up. Cruiser, don't fucking come for me. This is racism. Ingrid is racism. I'm just kidding. Ingrid, I'm gonna cry. Um, but yeah, like I know these people in this in this bubble. So are we uncomfortable with the idea that our bubbles don't let butch women like feel because like what uh, this is uh, this is real. Hold on, this the might boy. be a real relationship. Who's the man? This might be real. Hi. I miss you. I miss you. Okay, here's why. Hold on, let me chew. Here's why. How many straight women? Okay, listen to this. Steven was on Fresh and Fit. Well, this edible is really ruining my train of thought even worse than normal. Steven was on Fresh and Fit and all those women said they wouldn't date a bisexual man. All of them. Even though Steven's not hyper femme like he is. Now imagine being hyper femme and bisexual. What straight woman is going to want this? Right? So he didn't find a straight woman. He found a closeted bisexual woman who's pretending to be a lesbian. I love this. How's your flight? Fine. <clears throat> I'm hungry. Hi, I'm Marin, and this is my boyfriend, James. I'm a masculine presenting woman. And I am a feminine presenting straight man. Mm hmm. Marin well, why you gotta be straight now, girl? You probably bisexual. I don't know why you're straight now. Because identifying as a man. Oh, wait. Identifying as gay. Wait. <clears throat> is he saying he identified as a gay man, even though he was straight? That's a lie. Is he saying, it's crazy. Or is he saying, I as a bisexual man was saying, why is he saying he's straight now? Now I'm confused. Wait, now I'm confused. James met online after a chance comment from Merrin on TikTok sparked a conversation between the pair. I just was posting different pictures of myself, like dress femme, dress mask, and I had mm. commented on this other masculine girl's TikTok who was talking about how she thought that femme men were cute. And I was like, oh my God, girl, you're talking about me, honey. <laughs> and then I saw his comment under that video. No. That's how I got to his profile. No. And then I saw his videos and I was that's like- That's so cute. Just for fun. But. Wait, that's kind of a cute love story. They met in the comments of TikTok. I was also thinking in my head, like, <laughs> this is just gonna be a fun little thing that happens for a couple days and then it'll be over with. I never thought that it would be a real thing. thing. With a connection this strong, Marin and James were keen to meet. And even after their first date, this couple knew their relationship was going to be something special. I am so baked, but that is so cute. No straight man will ever understand this, except maybe this straight man. That is so cute. I wish I could lift my boyfriend up. I'm so sorry that I'm so weak, baby. So weak. Guys, I would love to be able to lift my boyfriend up in the air. Like, that's so cool. Wait, okay. I'm kind of into mass girls, into femboys. I'm kind of, I can see the perk. Because I will never have this. I will never be strong enough to lift my man up in the air. And that makes me sad. Fuck, I kind of like this. Am I just baked? So I'm like, ah, this is cute. Or is this fake? I don't know. Special. Despite not being <gasps> each other's usual type. I mean, I like yeah. He likes to make the joke that I came out the womb masculine because Honey was wearing boy clothes in elementary school. So I've only I've only dated girls in the past. I'm very much attracted to femininity as a whole. I love that just That's another thing. I know people who are attracted to femininity, not necessarily women. Or only women. See how she's attracted to femininity? So she she likes him. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, yeah. Nina says that meme of the girl holding her boyfriend pinned up against the fence. Bro, isn't it a fridge? Either way. Mm. Mm. His energy is very feminine. Like sometimes he'll like, like this is not 
the little Jack is not feminine, but the way he's acting is feminine. <laughs> I just... My sexuality was all over the place, very much. In high school, I was like this full straight, like almost hyper masculine version of myself, where like Look I was that. still one of the girls. However, okay, cute. I was pulling girls. And then I got to college and I was like, yeah, that ain't it. <laughs> not for me. So I was identifying. <laughs> what? Brittany, have you seen the video of Melina carrying Steven? Someone send me this video right now. I love it. Melina's so hot, bro. The way she just like, hmm, so beautiful, Melina. See, that's hot. Tell me that's not hot. That is so hot. Melina carrying st <laughs> I love them. As gay because it was easier than explaining all the ins and outs of who I was. Like never. Ooh. Queer Eye, Antony and Jonathan are both into women and men. Oops. Because Jonathan is pansexual, non-binary, and then Antony is bisexual, apparently. And so, like, both of those men are feminine in a way that I don't know a lot of my straight girlfriends that would fall in love with them. Antony is obviously very attractive. Jonathan's very attractive. But they are sort of on the fem... Ooh! Y'all seen Birdcage? Do you know that? Ugh, probably not, you fucking... You know Birdcage, classic. The son of the gay couple. Um... He's in an episode of Sex and the City, and he's dating Charlotte, and he's really lovely. He's he's straight, but people think he's gay, and there's a mouse in the house, and the mouse scares Charlotte and him, and he expects her to protect him, and that's when Charlotte realizes, like, I can't date a man this feminine, but now that I'm in my 30s, I actually don't mind. In my 20s, for sure. I was like, ah, it's a little much. You're being kind of a pussy, but, like, truly... I don't mind it in my 30s, but also I kind of want to be afraid with my partner over spiders and stuff. Like I want us to both be like, ew, what? Because it's not, it's just like, uh, it's nice to share an ick with somebody um, without being judged for how like ick it is for you. But spiders are super ick for me. Really just jumped all in with a man. I, I never had any interest in doing that. Oh, so when I'm sorry, ladies. What did he just say? What did he just say? Jumped all in with a man. I, I never had any interest in doing it. I was pulling girls. And then I got to college and I was like, yeah, that ain't it. <laughs> Not for me. So I was identifying as gay because it was easier than explaining all the ins and outs of who I was. Like never really just jumped all in with a man. I, I never had any interest in doing that. So he's never been with a man or he's never been with he's never like gone all the way with a man mm. so when the world went on shut down in 2020 i was on tiktok constantly like everybody was and i was like oh my god these tiktok lesbians are so fine <gasps> so that's like the first time i was exposed to like masculinity through a woman mm. now Marin and james have been dating long distance for over a year Marin does the cooking yes i have cooked one time. I cooked for Valentine's Day. Yes. And it was bomb. Sometimes I come on a Saturday and I'll leave on a Monday. So I'm here for a good little minute. I guess <clears throat> people perceive us as weird as a couple because we don't mm -hmm. follow the regular <clears throat> status quo. And we don't look like how they want us. I like the way he, look at their expressions. Follow the regular status quo. And we don't look like how they want I like that he's in her face, but you can see there's love there. I don't know what this is, but I am not, I'm not getting any red flags yet. Or maybe at all. Want us to look or how they would expect us to look. <clears throat> Ooh, Chloe says femininity is attractive, but that shared experience is the gold standard. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know? I like people who are similar to me in a way. Like when I date women, I like them to be like femme masks. So somewhere in the middle, like me, not super high, not high femme and not like masculine, masculine, just because it doesn't match with my style. It's too exhausting and I need to switch. And so I think I like that in all my partners, like a versatile, like an ability to switch because we have that shared experience. Like I like, again, I like couples to match, but only in like an energy, you know, they don't match but their energy is really good together, if that makes sense. Wait, is there something in the spam that says, where are all the mods? 
Why? Is there somebody in... Does somebody need to be blocked? What's happening? <clears throat> what is happening? Oh, there is a spammer? Did somebody get him? I don't see it. What is it? Tell me what username is being annoying. <clears throat> You're hungry. I'm still on it. Oh, Nothing I see. of ever truly yours. I'm glad that we're eating now because Maybe like, not? we would have had to wait a long time at Nice Guys. Now I say, I have a girlfriend. That's the end of that's the end of the, the that's the response. I have a girlfriend. So why do you dress the way that you do? Because I like it. I like to be cute. Period. Made the first TikTok August 6th of 2021 in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Ooh! So I like made, I posted all these pictures of us together. And I woke up the next morning and we had over a million views. And I said, babe, this is not happening. I think people saw in the video that I had on stilettos. Why? And she looked like a boy. In the beginning, people would say like, they're just best friends. They're doing this oh, for yeah. views. The most frequent question we get is who is- I definitely think they're best friends. And I do think they're doing this for views but they also might be in love. The woman, or like, who is the girl? <laughs> who is the boy? Who is and the man? It was so frequent. <clears throat> we were like, how? But you get asked that question, if you're a girl, okay, I'm watching Selling Sunset, and the boy, this is crazy. There's a couple, the guy's in his 20s, and the Mary's in her, it's, it's, oh, why can't I remember his name? And then there's Mary, and Mary's like in her 40s. Mary makes more money and wants a nicer house. He doesn't make the money, so he wants her to wait till he can go 50% in because he'll feel less like a man, like his pride. But, like, that's the thing is, like, what? Like, when you're dating, you're going to feel less like a man whether you're wearing heels or you just make less than your woman, which I think is bullshit. I think if you're in a relationship, your partner should feel comfortable with who they are, whether there's somebody who's still on a journey financially or whether they're, you know, they wear high heels, I guess. How stupid would that be if we made a YouTube video with the title, Who's the Woman? Who is the woman? <laughs> she identifies as a woman, I identify as a man. The only Reaching. thing different- Thank you, Romaine and Mary. Thank you, Hada. I've been watching four or three seasons, whatever I've been watching, and um... Is our presentation. And it has like 40,000 40, views. 40,000 views. <laughs> I don't- I want to wear my white heels. Okay. Should I do that one? Or should I do this one? I like this little tiny one. It's literally, it's very much like a mix of masculine and feminine. Mm -hmm. Because like, I don't like to wear dresses and like that, mm -hmm. but I love a flowing garment, honey. Mm -hmm. Like a long flowing See how he's self-aware? He's not the kind of guy who wears a dress, but he is the kind of guy who wears like high heels and lipstick and makeup or whatever. Garment is gonna get me every time. But at the same time, I'm not gonna put on a ball gown. No, that's not me. Marin, like. I think that's very interesting. Do you think he's judging people who wear dresses or that he's just trying to make it clear what kind of femme he is? I, I <laughs> Marin, Marin will, Marin, Marin will inadvertently watch me get dressed first just so she can see what I'm gonna put on so she can match me without asking. Cute. That sounds very like. Because they like it. It would be a little creepy if your partner didn't like it and you kept dressing like them. That'd be weird. But you see how they're doing it on purpose and he thinks it's cute? Obviously, don't do that if it's, like, weird. But, like, they're making Street it cute. Wear. Yeah, for sure. Like, I'll have on a stiletto and she wants to wear Jordans every time. There is no big hoopla around our relationship. We are really just two people that dress differently, but the rest of our relationship is the same. And I feel like, because none of our friends, like ever felt like the way people are commenting on our TikToks. They're like, it's so regular, like it's so normal, which it is. We just dress differently. I don't mind our relationship being public just because <clears throat> I feel like we get... Hmm. <sighs> hmm. I like being recognized in public, it's fun. I mean, we really only show what we want. Yeah. Like, they don't see the- See, it's not that weird when you see them in a group of people. It's just interesting. But it's not that weird, but it's kind of interesting. Maybe they're friends who are in love for the first time, but this might not last. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. 
Hmm. I don't know. There's a few people commenting right now, guys, where both of you seem like bots because you're typing the same way to to girls. So I'm going to mute you both and put you in timeout because you're giving me anxiety. Like, I can't tell. I'm pretty high, though. Um, But I can't tell. But you guys are writing the same way. It's weird. Like, when people type the same way, I almost feel like it's two, one person using the same username. So you're just on a timeout. I'll let you come back. But be chill, huh? Anyways, it's weird, but I'm kind of getting used to it. I think I've been in queer circles for too long. Because in queer circles, I'm not sure this would be awkward. I think. I think it'd be weird. But it might not be that weird, if I'm being honest. The entire idea of our relationship. I don't know if it would be hate at this point. Yeah. More just like... Oh, sorry. Um... Hex says they work so well together. Why wouldn't it last? Because they're young. So my theory is like either they're friends who are in love with each other because they're both probably on like a demi spectrum. This is why I say it. So he's a man who's straight but was willing to be gay as a black man, right? In wherever they are, I assume America. Rather than just like own that he's straight. It feels not real. Because in reality, he would probably be better off identifying as straight but high femme and everyone would think he was gay but as a straight man not as a bi man as a straight man why would you eliminate the chances of women ever looking at you unless sex wasn't a priority for you so maybe they're on a demi ace spectrum of sorts where because like if you're guys if you are sexual like i am sexual it is not something you take lightly like your orientation or stuff like that like sex matters so if he's willing to identify as a straight man, as a gay man, that feels like something someone without a sex drive would do versus somebody who like wants to get laid. Because unless he decided that getting, unless he, because he said he didn't go all the way with men. So he's not using men to get laid either. So it just feels, you know, so maybe they're best friends that are falling in love, but aren't, or maybe they're going to last or maybe they're not, but maybe sex just isn't a focus. And that's why they love each other as the consciousness, consciousness is <laughs> that they are. Does that make sense? Because I'm not really getting fake energy off either of them. I'm just getting like young and happy and, and, and like maybe they're just having a nice time. So maybe they'll last forever, but you know what I mean? Jokes and curiosity. It's not like, F you, you don't deserve to be alive. No, right. we don't get that. Yeah, I knew about their relationship, um, seeing it on TikTok. I mean, everybody did. I think Marin and James' um, relationship is this a lesbian works couple? What's because happening? they have really open communication. Or these feel like either of them have an issue, they're just very open and can talk to each other about it. Yeah, I feel like since seeing this relationship, Open communication is a relationship builder. Relationship and being friends with Marin, it just makes me realize that like, I feel like people can be made for each other, you know? Being in this relationship has taught me that there's a wide spectrum when it comes to like sexuality and all mm -hmm. that it encompasses. Mm -hmm. It's not just straight gay bye. Honey, it's so much more. Honestly, I think this relationship taught me that there was a lot more fluidity to me than I thought. Nice. To anyone who mm -hmm. is judgmental of us or doesn't approve, mm -hmm. I really don't care. You're um, paying a bill. You're paying my light bill. <laughs> and I'm cashing the check. And I'm laughing at your comment anyways because either it was funny or it was dumb enough to where it wasn't funny. And I'm still laughing, so yeah. Love that for you. <laughs> <laughs> I really love that she can lift him. That's just so great. I love that so much. Oh my gosh. So why's my life a mess? Please tell me Cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool Then 